on to the yesterday board here on uh, Bob Cap Pursuit. And if you have watched the playthrough, you'll know that a very prominent part of the game was Mercury, which we need to remember. So your question is on that topic. Uh, what is the boiling point of Mercury? Boiling point. Yes. 78 degrees. Boiling point or melting point? <laughs> boiling point. I'll say 400. Aaron's going 400. Obviously Celsius. Yes, we're doing in Celsius here. So <laughs> Kelvin, 400. Oh, sorry, Kelvin. I was going in Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> 48 Kelvin. Yes. <laughs> it Temperature that is physically it... impossible. <laughs> <laughs> so any other takers? Um, Aaron is putting 400. I'm going to go uh, with 300. I'm very convicted. Well, 300 for Adam. 283. 283 for Louis. That was very specific. Very specific. Uh, Aiden, how about yourself? I'll take out my calculator here and push in my numbers and multiply by 100. That's 500. <laughs> 500 degrees for Aiden. Uh, and now down to Nordian Burkbot. And we're definitely talking about the metal here, not the planet. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very sure at this day, Mercury would have melted if that was the case. <laughs> um, I'm going to go uh, 380. 380. And James, very close. Oh, Aaron knows that. One. <laughs> no. What a dick you are. <laughs> oh, come on. That, that's the standard move. <laughs> well, let's see. So 381 for James. The correct answer is 356.7. Oh. So, Burkba, you are correct. <laughs> you are the closest. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, you Robin bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, it's good for seconds. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the mind games straight away. He um, hasn't so. even asked your role yet. Don't worry about it. I, I think I can um, just have to take my time here with these numbers. So I'll just. <laughs> I need to breathe. No, you don't. <laughs> well, now, technically, the triple point of Mercury is at atmospheric pressure and room temperature. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, let's not. Really. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, Burkbots, welcome to yesterday. It's happening now. <laughs> Just go left. <laughs> At six, please. Six, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, you went. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're on general knowledge. So, to start off with one solitary point. Oh, here's one for you. What is the national animal of Afghanistan? A suicide bomber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. Well, no, not too bomb. soon. I think you'll find it's a carpet bomb. Is it Frankie Boyle? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's America. Aardvark, well, was it? Um, <laughs> To be fair, it's a good guess, but actually the correct answer is a snow leopard. Oh, that's yeah. not fair. You can't have a mythical animal. Are you believe me if I just say that? Are they snow there? They're, yeah, they're naked. What is there? animal is a unicorn, so... Yeah. Well, which I, I whales think... is a dragon? Yeah, they just, they just pick animals they like. So, like, it's... There, there, there's like a state in America that their state bird is the goodwill blimp. <laughs> There's a state in America where it's an AR-15. <laughs> That's Texas, called, right? Yeah. Up by its real name. That's and awesome. all of them, yeah. In fairness, <laughs> Bar California, and that's the, that, that's the kale milkshake. And Penguin's interested. Uh, so James, despite your shithousery, you're up next. What shithousery? You know what you did. <laughs> One. Good. Uh. <laughs> 
so your question on that on that regards for sports is in which winter sport do competitors travel lying down face first okay i watched it mm-hmm. yes yeah, so the I question think... really is have you watched cool ones <laughs> <laughs> no are you going for bobsledding no it's the other one oh. yeah it is it's skeleton skeleton is what you're thinking of and someone's sleeping with the dog tonight well, te- technically, if you count the curling pieces as uh, competitors. <laughs> Fair point. Um, so, Aaron, you're up next. Three. Three. One, two, three. Plus three history, Aaron. Do you feel confident? Do you think you can uh, take lead Well, it's here probably going to be about music or something, so we'll see. <laughs> How pessimistic. Clearly, this is about, uh, some, uh, this is clearly about history. In the times of the Romans, what was a hippodrome? Uh, uh, um, <laughs> again, I should know this. <laughs> um, hippo, like horse, like a. <laughs> it was um, like a, a runway. Uh, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> a racetrack thing? I don't know. I'm going to give that for... Yeah. I'm going to give that to Yeah. Okay. Hippodrome. What? Actually, you did work it out. It's uh, a sports stadium. Yeah. So, yeah. I actually got it right. Yeah. So, Hippodrome was a racetrack, an arena, whichever way you want to call it. So, yeah, Hippodrome was the right answer. So, mm. there all you I, go. All I could see was like a drone that was in the shape of a hippo bombing <laughs> different places. <laughs> what I really wanted someone to say was a zoo. <laughs> Why would a zoo be an answer? I don't know. This is funny. Um, so yes, uh, Adam, you're up next. Yeah, I dread this. I rolled a five. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. Mystery box. And what will the benevolent mystery box give you this time? If it's benevolent. It is benevolent. You want a bobcat? Uh... <laughs> I, that, does that just move me to the end square now? <laughs> I'm going to a random ball cap from my selection here. So, a little random, random pick. I see what you get. Thus. Get in. Okay. Your random ball cap prize is a. Uh, a Banton. Do you know the uh, like the happy birthday uh, signs? But this bunting. One, bunting. Bunting, yeah, bunting. sorry. Um, and as you can see from the label there, it just says love. Aww. Okay, so, so that, that's clearly the one that you put up whenever you get late. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you know, should... Because it, it's a yearly event. That's why it's so dusty. <laughs> <laughs> why it's still in the packaging. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> So yes, that's that's yours, and it's a lovely, lovely copper finish. But that's that's a that's a ball cap for you, eh, Adam. Well done. Ah, oh, so it's spermicidal. Yes, let's not go there. Um, but uh, so because you, you can't be fair to that anyway. Um, for a secret prize. So is it bad that I'm annoyed at the lack of um moves forward? <laughs> yeah, <a little> bit. <laughs> But you won a prize, you know, you, you, you haven't left here empty handed. I mean, I technically I finished another board, but still. Mm, that's <laughs> true. Exactly. Uh, I think it hurts more because it's the yesterday board and you feel kind of some kind of ownership on it. Um, so, uh, Dewey, you're up next. I got a six. One, two. Oh three, man, four. even Dewey's ahead of me. <laughs> Fate worse than death. Um, so. For that, Dewey, your general knowledge question is this. Moleskin is a type of which fabric? <laughs> Wait, what, type of, what type of fabric? How many different types, types of, of fabric? Fabric, yeah. Yeah. So what type of fabric would you make out of an animal's skin? Not real mole, is it? Is it, is it a fake fabric? 
like what type of fake fabric you're thinking of, like? You, 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 think, you think like it's like fake fur or something like that? There's a real fabric. Fake fabric. Fake fabric, okay. The question is, is it real or fake? <laughs> um, is it a fabric that goes on um it's furniture? <laughs> <laughs> so you think like a, like a like a fake leather? Is that what yeah. Kind of, okay, yeah. it's not fake leather. It's actually a type of cotton. Oh. Yeah, it's a type of cotton. That's all it is. So. That's a plant. Uh, kind of, yeah. Pretty. Yeah. Well, I think it's the way it's um, weed or something like that. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah. What um, is it so, made from? Mold. It's from cotton. Cotton. <laughs> cotton yeah. It's cotton, it's cotton, are cotton plants made Mold from mold? Said <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> they can be, but I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Moles are carnivores. Moles are carnivores, Aaron, yes, you're right. Yes, that is Under fact. Under pieces, they can make them herbivores. <laughs> when pushed. Um, Under people, they'll make mole skin condoms. Yes. <laughs> or socks, as they're called. And um, eight. <laughs> 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 oh, it's me again. Uh, yes. Hello, Aiden. Two. Two. Plus one science. Okay. Do you like Do you like science, Aiden? Yes. It's on the yesterday you. board, you better get that fucking out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. And um, so, your science question plus one is: Where in the body would you find the uvula? U v u. Where in the Bible would you find the uvula? <laughs> <laughs> Spell that again, Derek. Uh, U V U L A. L A. U V U V U V U V. It's that little dangly thing that hangs in the boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Very close, yes. Oh, dangly. Somewhere yeah, on the southern region. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Am I close? Okay. <laughs> Somewhere close to the bladder. <laughs> no. <laughs> No? You're, 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 you're ice cold. His right. sentence was close, not the region. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even, yeah. The correct answer yeah, is... I do actually know what it is. I was making a joke from Ozzy and Drix. Yes. I know. <laughs> the uvula is in your throat, Aiden. My throat. The, the dangly uh, bit in the back of your throat. The useless yeah. bit. Oh! Wow. Yes. That's actually that the last... To be fair, it stops you from choking on cock. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! That was an expert, Adam, if you don't mind me saying so. That's why Adam had his removed. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it yes. in the jar. Oh, <laughs> right, he's a man. Oh. Uh, so, first thought, we start off with you then. I was enjoying that conversation though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the commentary. Uh, four. <laughs> Four. One, two, three, four. A plus three sport. Okay. So this should be interesting. Plus three sport. No, no pressure. Okay. So. Sports folk about pressure. Of course. Uh, your question is, as of 2020, uh, how many different Olympic snowboarding disciplines are there? Oh, okay. Um... Okay, so are you including things that are involved in multi-sports? Uh, no, I think it's just the actual style of snowboarding. You know, the actual, um, the, the, the classes. Three? The answer is five. It's five oh. snowboarding yeah, disciplines. Here, no. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, James, bring up the rear. It was really worth the shit I was reading the last round. Really was, wasn't it? Yeah. Really was. Who? Totally. <laughs> it might be British history, it might be fine. <laughs> You're the one that can sing all the British kings. So watch Harvard history, that's not a crime. Mm. Not only is it not a crime, it's actively encouraged. So, I know uh, what. You're, you're only the Brits. Uh, your history question plus three, uh, James, is 
Who wrote the 1895 play An Ideal Husband? No idea. Not even a guess? Can't even know. To be fair, I'm not surprised you didn't get it because this guy is Irish and not British. It's Oscar Wilde. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's raging. Look at him. This is a little thing. Furious in there. Uh, so, uh, Aaron, next roll for you. All right. A four. Four. One, two, three, four. You're also going to put three sports. Woohoo. You won't be saying that if you get the question. Um, so, here's your question. Um, Kevin Moran, or Moran, if you like, was the first player no. to be sent in the FA Cup final. Which team was he playing for? Can I give a uh, fun fact after this? No. You can give a fun fact after this, yes. Can well, I get a fun fact before I answer this? No, it will, no, you have to give me the answer. <laughs> Which team are you playing um, for? Uh, uh, Liverpool. Uh, unfortunately, not. It was Manchester United. They're the same. They both play soccer, don't they? Still up, really. Um, uh, Berkman, what was your uh, what was your fun fact? <laughs> Kevin's brother was inside of me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay then. He performed my knee surgery. Oh right, okay, fair. Um, that's <laughs> that's he great. Me good. Did he? Yeah. Did he give Perfect you a good screw? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you think you just see the look on James's face? <laughs> Sorry, I thought, I thought we were just dropping bombshells on our. <laughs> 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 Oh. Was he gentle, Rachel? Was he gentle? Stop her out. He knocked me out and I woke up halfway through. He didn't make oh, him stop, though. This has been a terrible <laughs> life for James. Not only has he discovered that he's, in fact, a tan, he's also... <laughs> oh, it's been a bad night overall. Um, so, uh, Adam, you're up next. Uh -huh. uh, that is a six. A six. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus two, science. The science show. Piano! So, your question for plus two science is, which part of the body does glaucoma affect? Glaucoma? Yes. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the down I, I should know this, but I'm... I'm going to say the eyes, but I don't think that's right. Uh, you would be wrong on that. That is the correct answer. Eyes is oh. what's affected by glaucoma. So it's glaucoma, isn't it? It's yeah. glaucoma, yeah. It's, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, it is the it is the eyes either way. Um, so, uh, Dewey, you're up next. I get a three. A three. That brings you on to a, a easy geography question. And for a point... Question is which Mediterranean country lies in both Asia and Europe, borders Bulgaria and Greece on its European side? Turkey. Turkey is the right answer. So plus one. Two uh, Turkey questions in one night. I know, right? Like, what are the know. chances? What it's are the like chances? It's, it's like it's Turkey Day tomorrow and it's Easter. <laughs> I think oh, Jonathan's just being sponsored by Turkey. I was gonna say, yeah, I actually I think yeah. Um I don't know which one is worse, to be honest, because uh, they're really kind of dodgy. Um, so, uh, Aiden, bring the uh, rear again. Six. Six, that's more like it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That gives you a TV and film question. And the question is, which cartoon hero has been voiced by both Sir David Jason and Alexander Armstrong? I think James knows the answer. <laughs> oh, no, that's Burkbot. Burkbot's the one on the right, Aiden. Oh, 
Uh, Kings not the one on the far left. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, cartoon. Alexander. Alexander Armstrong. And, but also Sir David Jason. Two different David. versions. And it's a cartoon. Is it a famous cartoon? I don't know. Yeah, it's a famous cartoon, yeah. I think we're past then. Burkbot, do you want to shout it out? Danger Mouse! Danger Mouse! I wouldn't have never gotten that. No. I was going to, was going to say Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I would love if Sir David Jason did Dr. Robotnik. That's, that's quite there. It also kind of shows the morality of Aiden thinking Robotnik is the hero of that franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Very fair point. So, so, so as things planned, Adam, you are currently leading, and then we have a scrap currently for second. Uh, Aiden thanks to a good roll, gets him back into the midfield, and James is uh, slightly behind. So, Burkbot, we'll start off with you here. Two. Two. One. Two. And a plus three. Nicely done. And James, now to yourself. Come on, James, get the three and go last. I got a three. <laughs> One, two, uh, just getting global, uh, general knowledge there. Uh, your next question. <clears throat> so, for a point, what type of food is Danish blue? Is what? What type of food is Danish blue? Cheese. It is a cheese. Correct answer. Plus one. Um, and now, Aaron, up, up next. Four. Four. One, two, three, and four. So yours is on history. <clears throat> and for two points, the question is Dawson City, a town in the uh, Canadian territory of Yukon, was the center of what activity in the late 19th century? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. James laughs ominously. <sighs> Read it to me again. Certainly. Dawson City, a town in the Canadian territory of Yukon, was the center of what activity in the late 19th century? Uh, reindeer hunts. Very popular in the 1800s, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, the correct answer, and uh, I think some people might notice, because there may be gold in them there, Hills, it was gold perspective. Okay. So, hard up there, Aaron. Uh, Adam, can you retake the lead? It is a six. That is certainly more than enough. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's see if you can stick the landing with a plus two sport question. Well, that's enough. Let's see. <laughs> what does stick the landing come from? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I know this one. Goblins. One with all the really hot 12 year olds. <laughs> so, your question, Adam, is what name was the F1 Racing Point team known as but prior to the 2019 season? Um, McLaren? Uh, no, not McLaren, unfortunately. It was Force India. Did I at least name a team? You, you <laughs> did name a team. That is, yeah, you did, actually, in fairness. So, you good did. on you. You did, yeah. That's good. You're getting uh, better. Yeah, he's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Dewey, we go to you now. A six. A six. Good rolls, lads. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's a very good roll. It's now the plus two as well. Ooh, Dewey has entered the chat. Very exciting. Uh, Adam, sorry, I won't win it. <laughs> uh, Aiden. Last but not least. 
Oh. What are you talking about? Aiden's not last. James is. Well, uh, last in the in the sequence, I would say. Uh, so a one gets you onto a plus one um, geography question, and the question is: From which country does the samba originate? Samba. S- Spain. The answer was Brazil. Fox. Oh, come on, that's not fair. He's allergic to tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm allergic to tomatoes. He, no one steals my gimmick. <laughs> so, um, so uh, three, one, two, three. You got a plus one music. Um, how are you on music, Perplot? Do you do you like? Do you like music? I like I like some music. That's good. That's nice. Let's see if you know this one. Um. <clears throat> Do the R&B. <laughs> you can't. So, uh, <laughs> which Canadian singer had a hit in 2002 with the song Complicated? Avril Lavigne! <laughs> is the correct answer. And That's not fair. Why do you have to go make things so complicated? Who's Avril Lavigne? Oh, she's the one that married some 41. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I got a six. Got a six. That's more like it. One, two, four, five, and six. Two. First one of the round. Now, how's your Madness trivia, James? Depends on the game. Hmm. Well, how about this then? Which one of these games were not played as a mini Madness? So you know one played as a mini Madness. Give us a fucking multiple choice. This is so unfair. Which one wasn't played in Mini Madness? Egg Returns Home, Hippocampus, or Dinner Date? Returns Home. That's the wrong answer. That was the first Mini Madness. That was the best playthrough we've ever done. Oh, there you go. Egg Returns Home. Oh, damn it. Yes, I remember that one now. Shame. Uh, Dinner date was the uh, second last one. The correct answer was hippocampus. So hard luck there, James. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> four. Four. One, two, three, four. You also want to post some music. And your question on the subject is: Who was the lead guitarist with the Beatles? Paul? It was not Paul McCartney, it was George Harrison. Ah. George Harrison, hard luck. Um, Adam, do we take the lead? I betrayed me, I got a one. A one, oh, how wonderful. Oh no. Uh, wonderful. So, your <laughs> question is rolling through them to get one I won't know. <laughs> 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 so, uh, before, it's, a, it's a pity Paul uh, isn't here because this would trigger him. Um, what animal does Parker transform into during the playthrough of Shadow of the Comet? Ah, uh, fuck, it's a bird of some description, right? It is a bird, yes. It is a bird. Plus two to you, sir. Uh, and you're on the home stretch. Very exciting. Uh, Dewey? I get a one. A one. So that gets you onto a plus two sport. Uh, can I have a substitution for Burp off here? <laughs> no, that's not how this works. Um, so, your question... <laughs> just no. Just no. No gag. Just no. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you see, it's, it's probably because in this sport we don't have substitutions. Uh, in golf, what is the name of the mown stretch of grass that connects the tee to the green? What is that patch of grass called? The place you, use, you lose the balls the most. You'd be doing well to lose the, the ball. The, the lake. <laughs> That's where the water is. People, do you not know? <laughs> Basic stuff. Right? What is golf? What is golf? Oh, fair point. And... <laughs> <laughs> and now you have lost all golf uh, viewers in this channel. All three. Yeah, yeah. All, all three, three of them. Viewers. Yes. They, they came in for our liquid golf podcast and left and um, shortly after. 
and Super like Mario Golf Day first. Yes. <laughs> so, so Can you do you have a question uh, again? Yes. In golf, what is the name of the mown stretch of grass that connects the tee to the green? Is it the fairway? It is the fairway, yes. Plus two. Nicely done, dude. Um, so, Aiden, back to you. Three. Three. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nicely done, Aiden. Um, so, as you can see, lads, uh, Adam is currently leading, but Dewey is close behind him. Uh, Burkbot and Aaron uh, following after. And, see, they're on the home stretch. Your star prize tonight, lads, is a back scratcher. Oh my god, back I need scratcher. it. Back scratcher! Back scratcher! And a also, scratcher. An idea, I do believe you use that point to scratch your ass with. Or you could use it to snatch food out of people's places a bit far away from you. But the, yeah, I was going to buy that ivory back scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> but the weird part of it is that I also have like the top of a pen. Like it has the like the appendage, so you kind of like kind of have it as your lapel and just go, ha ha. <laughs> <tennis. laughs> For all of your dry skin needs, I guess. Anyway, um, so let's get on with the game, lads. So, Burkbots, we start with you. Oh. I'm going for that box scratcher. Was it six? Six? Wow, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. A plus three geography. Oh. Fucking hell, why can't I have the music? Burkbot, if you get this right, you win the back scratcher. So, your question on geography for three whole points and potentially the prize is which is the smallest state of Australia? Why is all the Australian stuff? State State of despair. Um, (laughs) State, state. Um, <laughs> liquid. I, uh, <laughs> Solid. I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Victoria. No, unfortunately not. If the I said. Australian state. If I had said. Rab, 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 would that help? Oh, Tasmania. Tasmania, yeah. Tasmania is the smallest yeah. state in Australia. Yes. That not an island. island. Yeah. 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 That no. Was it, really it, it's an island. But it's, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, Burkle, Unfortunately, uh, you may still be in a chance to win. We'll see. We'll see how what happens Very with everyone chance. else. Yeah. So, uh, James. I got a tree. The tree. One, two, three, and that gets you onto history. So, on the topic for two points is The Sand Reckoner was a work by which Greek mathematician? Euclid? It was not Euclid, it was Archimedes. Archimedes, that was his work. The owl from Merlin, it's what it's called. So, <laughs> oh dear. Um, the best part about this uh, Bobcat Pursuit is seeing who gets a dog after this. Um, so. <laughs> oh no, the dog isn't her name. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. I see to, you to be fair, the if there. I win this board, I'm taking everything tonight. I'm taking the dog. <laughs> okay, so the dog is on the line, folks. I repeat, the dog is on the line. Okay, Adam, what do you roll? Heads. Aaron's go. Stop skipping me! <laughs> I'm that. Sorry. <laughs> I got a six. Actually, so one, two, three, four, five, six. General knowledge. Barely avoid the pitfall there. I think he should get another roll because he keeps skipping them. I, I, I feel obliged to sometimes. But I, I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't know why are you in my bl- blind spot. Aaron? It's weird. <laughs> okay. We all know who your favorites are. So Aaron, for a point, which term for an outline drawing is taken from the name of a French politician? A uh, sketch? No, it's silhouette. 
Ah. Yeah. That was, I, I did not know that myself. It's actually like taken off a person. Like an actual hmm. man called Silhouette. So there you go. Fun fact. Now, uh, now you get to Six wins it. I'd Tension. like to say six, but I'm just short with a five. Oh. Five. Ooh, get it if you get it's only a plus one history. Yeah, exactly. So if you get it right, you're across the line. Let's see what question you get though. So, yeah, uh, your question is in Greek mythology, what type of animal is Pegasus? Pegasus is the winged horse. It is the winged horse, and Adam is across the line and guess the Max Scratcher. <laughs> so nicely done there. Uh, Dewey, can you snatch um, the, the consolation prize? I get a four. Four. So one, four. two, three, four. Plus three geography. It's possible. But can you get this question right? For plus three geography. Limburger cheese originated in which country? Limburger. Burk. <laughs> That's maybe the town, yes. I'm asking for the country. <laughs> Limburger. Luxembourg? Limburger? Very, very close. Belgium. Belgium. The hard look there. And um, Aiden. To you. All the play for here, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, plus one music. Aiden, I, I really think you're going to get this consolation prize. Ready up. Um, so, plus one music. How many French hens are there in the 12 days of Christmas? And if you don't know this... Don't go through true. the first day. Go, go from the 12th day down. Yes, he got there. Oh. <laughs> I love that he had to work it out. Um, so yes, there we go. And now, so now this is the fun part. And um, Burkbot, you will go first and uh, to see if you get the consolation prize. Uh, one. Oh. Ooh. It's a good chance. It is, it's the music round. It's the music round. So, your question for two points. The single, everything changes. Was a 1994 hit for which group? Can you sing it for me, Johnson? <laughs> I cannot sing it for you, no. Because, like I said, it's a group, and I can't tell my voice that well. What year? 1994. Okay. And I'm trying to think back to music from that time that I didn't listen to. Which Come on, just think of all your favourite Himalayan throat singers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with Backstreet Boys. Close, oh, isn't it? Gorfa, you were so close. The answer was take that. Fuck. Oh. Mmm, so the Constellation Prize is back <laughs> in play. But first, it's to Jane. It's to James. But it's first, to it's Mark Sponsor. Visit Turkey. <laughs> uh, I got a two. Two, and I get you. Oh. So. I'm uh, still in last place. Yay. Aaron. Three. Aaron this time. <laughs> one, two, three. We're on a plus one history. So, Aaron, you may not have won, but can you get the consolation prize? How many kings of Scotland were called Malcolm? Ah, uh, no, here. <laughs> <sighs> a winged so, horse there was Malcolm X so that's 10 <laughs> <laughs> and there was Malcolm from Malcolm in the middle there was a Malcolm in the oh. middle exactly so yeah, he was Malcolm one number was Malcolm in the middle because if you know that you just double it there's Malcolm <laughs> so he has a five or six depending 
Oh, um... Three? Four. Ah! Four. So, it now goes to Dewey. <laughs> Roll out one. Roll out one. <laughs> <laughs> I get a four. Ah, four. One, and before two. you complain, oh. <laughs> yeah. I know, that four looks dodgy okay. to me. Okay, I rolled good. again. I got a five. Happy? Yeah, yeah. that's better. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dewey, your consolation prize is a necklace. Um, but it's a necklace with the letter A on it. A. Wow. Yeah, an A. There, there are actually a surprising number of people in this call that could use that. I was about to say, the one person that doesn't start with an A won the prize, ironically enough. But there you go. So that's your, that's your fair prize. Uh, ish. So, uh, lovely stuff. The one um, person? Hello. <laughs> the bird bot. This guy. This guy. Um, so, uh, Adam, seeing that you won, where do you want to go next? Uh, what are the remaining options? You have FTL, uh, Beneath mm -hmm. the Steel Sky, Shadow of the Comet, Snatcher, Police Knots, Game Dev Tycoon, or Ace Attorney. Oh, you son of a bitch. These are all very good. Uh, give me Snatcher. Snatcher it is. Snatcher it is.